Hi everybody, I'm Rosemary and welcome to my 12 Styles of Christmas series, where I will be sharing some fun, unique, and budget-friendly ideas on all the many styles of Christmas. This video is the eighth episode in the series, and I will be doing the colorful whimsy and yummy sweetness of the gingerbread style. For the first DIY, I'm going to make some embellishments from applesauce and cinnamon ornament dough. Now, if you're not familiar with this, you simply mix applesauce and cinnamon to create a dough that can be then shaped into ornaments, trinkets, and embellishments. Now, I know there are different recipes. There are some even using glue and flour, but the mixture I've always found to work just perfectly is the 2.5 ounce container of cinnamon, which is the size that you get at Dollar Tree or Walmart for the generic brand, and one container of the single serve applesauce. For me, I just find that this recipe consistently makes the best dough. It's not too sticky, not too stiff, and it's a try and true method I've been using for years and years. Now, once I've gotten the dough to a nice consistency, I just roll it out and use cookie cutters to make the shapes. From here, you can air dry or bake at a low 200 degrees for two hours. While my ornaments are baking, I'm going to take a Walmart cookie sheet. Now this is the Mainstays brand. It only costs $1.48. I prefer this because of the color to the Dollar Tree brand. And then I'm going to also use some Dollar Tree stickers as well as some Walmart stickers to put on my saying. And my quote is going to say, let's bake and watch Christmas movies. So I'm going to use this ruler method to just go ahead and apply the stickers. This allows you to just kind of lay them out and keep them nice and even. And I'll do that um, for the first letters. You can see them in there just barely, uh, but you get the idea. I'm going to then uh, add the next uh, line, which is bake. And then from there, I'm going to use those smaller stickers to create the next part, which is and watch. And then the last line will be Christmas movies. And I'm just using a hodgepodge there because that's what I had available from some other projects that I worked on previously. Next, I'm going to take a white paint marker and I'm going to just start dotting all over the letters. Now, you'll see in a second here that I am paying special attention to the edges of the letters. So I want to make sure that I'm getting a lot of dots all around the edges because I want, once I remove the stickers, for that outline to be nice and crisp. If it's too dotted around there, then I won't be able to see the make out of the letters. So as I go around the stickers, I'm making sure that I'm getting right up there, right real close to where the edge of the sticker is so that I can get a really defined letter. So when I remove those stickers, it will be nice and defined around that area. And then I'll just go back with my paint marker and I'll just start dabbing all over the place to create this kind of flower-like effect as if someone dumped a bunch of flour and then uh, wrote the letters in there. Now I'm going to go and add my little embellishments that have come out of the oven. And since we wanna add some color to those, I'm going to use some puffy paint to decorate them much the way you would if you were decorating uh, cookies with icing. So I just went ahead and did my little stockings and my little snowflakes and all of the different embellishments with the paint. And now I'm gonna go ahead while those are drying and remove the stickers. Now you'll see as I do that, that there are some spots that really do need to go over with the marker because I did not get them as closely as I had wanted to. So I can just go back then afterwards and just kind of define those letters a little bit more with the paint marker. Next, I thought that the edges of the pan needed a little brightening, so I took some red gloss enamel paint and just went all around the edges. I did have to use three coats in order to get a nice finish. And now I'm gonna go back with some more of that puffy paint and just do little dots all the way around to add some design to the pan. Okay, and so here is the finished pan once all the little dots have been applied. Now, I just wanted to point out that I think that the proportions, I really love the way it came out, I think it looks great, but I think the proportions are off a little bit. I think that either the cookie should have been bigger or you should have added more cookies, maybe bringing them in further into where the lettering is, but, and then adding some more to it, but I think it came out pretty good all the same. And now for the first of three winners from the Season of Giving giveaway, the Little Red Truck Plate from the Vintage Christmas episode. And the winner is Kimmy. 
Congratulations, Kimmy, and we still have two more winners to go. So for the next DIY, my plan was to use the little ornaments that I made again from the applesauce and cinnamon dough. And I did use a little straw there to create the hole at the top. And I was going to take some of these Walmart pom-poms I got. They were 99 cents a bag. And I was going to string them along on the baker's twine to create a cute little garland and decorate the little ginger people with the icing paint as well. But then I found this six feet of bead garland from Walmart for just a $3.48. And then when I went to Hobby Lobby, I found these ornaments for 50% off. So they were anywhere from $1.50 to $2, making these all pretty budget friendly. Now, when I DIY, cost is always one of the biggest factors. But of course, there is also the joy of crafting and the pride of craftsmanship that also come into play. But if I have the opportunity to creatively put things together and still be cost effective, I'll often go for that option. So that's what I'm going to do in this case. And since I had already used the cinnamon dough ornaments in the previous DIY, I thought it would be better to go ahead and show you how I put together these prefabbed items to create a fun new piece. And so I just spaced them out and then used the ornament hanger to attach them to the bead rope. On the ginger people, I taped the ornament hanger down to the back of the ornament. And then on the little houses and the candy canes, I left the loop um, up so that I could attach it to the hooks. And then here is another look at the finished project, a cute little gingerbread banner slash garland to brighten any spot in your home. And I'm loving banners so much, I think this little red truck banner from previous DIY would make the perfect giveaway for this video. Details coming up. For this next DIY, I'll be using old candle jars from my Aldi candles that I just cleaned out. So they just kind of, you know, after they're all burnt out, I guess, scrape out all the wax. Then I use some goo gone and it comes out pretty easy. And then I'm also going to be using these vases and candlesticks that I picked up at Goodwill for a dollar each. And then I'm going to take the candle lids as well as the candlesticks and paint them all with this apple red spray paint. Next, I'm going to take some mini cupcake liners as well as some of these Dollar Tree ping pong balls. And I just want to use some hot glue to glue the ping pong balls to the cupcake liner. I'm going to be using these to make some faux mini cupcakes. And then I'm also going to use these little beads and tube confetti and erasers to create little toppers. And then this caulk will be the icing. But before I do the icing, I do want to prepare the toppers a little bit. So I just want to give my erasers a little painted finish. And so I just painted the surfaces and then went back uh, with some puffy paint to do the decorations. And then to do the icing, I'll again just use this caulk. I'm going to just apply it kind of in this swirling circular fashion. I'll go and do like a first row down at the bottom and then I'll start a second row on top of that. And just keep going up and up until the entire cupcake is iced. Next, I'm going to take some of that Dollar Tree tube confetti and just sprinkle it over the wet caulk to create some sprinkles for the cupcake. And then I'm going to take the eraser topper that I painted and just again place that into the wet caulk and then leave that all to dry for a couple of hours. And then once the caulk was dry on the cupcakes, I did go back with some of that gloss enamel paint and just painted the paper to give it a better texture and a more durable finish. Next, I wanted to embellish the jar lid a little bit. So, of course, I went to my new, new old favorite, puffy paint. I haven't used this stuff in years. And everything I was turning to in this video, it was like, puffy paint. Use puffy paint. It's perfect. So, anyway, I just went along the edge of the jar lid there. And then also in that circle there on the top, just doing a little puffy paint uh, ring all the way around. And then once all my dots are dry, I'll take my faux cupcakes and glue them to the center to create little toppers. And then as my lids were drying, I took some E6000 glue and just glued my glass jars to the painted candlesticks. And then here's a look at how they all came together. So here's all three of them with the different faux cupcake toppers. And you can see how they make great little canisters. You can give them as gifts or have them for display. I'm going to be using them for my cocoa bar this year, which I'll be redoing with all gingerbread. And so I have some marshmallows and peppermints. And also in the middle are my quick and easy homemade hot chocolate bomb hacks, which I will leave a link to here and in the description box in case you want to check it out. Well, I think it's time to announce another winner. Next up is this wall art from the Reason for the Season episode. And the winner is Evelyn Conrad. Congratulations, Evelyn. And I will be announcing the next winner in a little bit. 
Next, I wanted to create a little holder for my hot cocoa packets. So I thought what I would do was take one of these Dollar Tree crates and just attach it to one of these Dollar Tree little gingerbread cutouts. And then this way they would kind of hide the packets because I hate when they kind of hang out all over the place. And so I'm going to just first start by painting all of the house and the crate with some brown craft paint to create uh, gingerbread and then white craft paint there on the snow and all along the edges and um, also on the windows and the door. And then once all that base paint was painted, it was time to decorate. And then you know what I did? I went and got me some puffy paint. And I started decorating and creating all little decorations with the puffy paint. First I did some stripes down here along the edge. Then I did some peppermints and gumdrops and all types of yummy treats. And then once I have finished all the decorating, I just took the little wood crate and I placed some wood glue to the front and then I just attached the two pieces together. And then here's another look at my gingerbread house hot cocoa holder, which is going to make a perfect addition to my new gingerbread hot cocoa bar, which of course I will show you in an upcoming video. Now I am just loving using window clings along with chargers or plates to create decor pieces. It is so quick and easy and it has such an amazing effect. So when I saw these cupcake window clings at the Dollar Tree, I knew I just had to do one for my cocoa bar. And so I wasn't certain though that red on the charger is a little dark. So I went ahead and just sprayed it with some of that apple red spray paint. And then I simply just started to apply the clings. Now I did leave the outline. I did cut that off in previous uh, videos, but it was, you know, it was cute on this because it is a little bit more cartoonish and I thought it gave it, um, you know, just a little outline and some more definition. So I left those on. Now the one thing is that I did have to cut out, it wasn't enough of the candies to go around. So I took the candy cane off of this cupcake here at the bottom and just trimmed it around and then placed that as my missing candy there in that space. And then you guessed it, time to accent with some puffy paint. And so I just went around the edge of the charger, just making some dots on top of the dots that were already there. And then I also did an interior circle as well. And then here's a final look at how it all came together. Another quick and easy window cling plate project. Um, a, yet another variation to see how cute you can do these different projects. And now this last DIY is another quick and easy one. It uses one of these little tinsel garland trees from the Dollar Tree. And once I removed everything from the tree, it's just left with the skeleton and I painted it with some of that apple red spray paint. And then once that paint was dry, I took some of this striped ribbon from Walmart. It's only $3.98 for that great big roll. And I just cut it in about three inch pieces with the corners kind of cut like that on an angle. And then I'm gonna just take some hot glue and just begin applying the ribbon to the skeleton of my former tinsel tree. And I'm gonna just keep going all the way around, just applying the ribbons. And then when I get down to that next level, I'm going to kind of place those ribbons in between the ribbons of the previous layer. And again, just glue them all the way around. And that's it, a cute little candy stripe ribbon tree to further accent my cocoa bar. And now it's time to announce the winner of the ballerina vignette from the Glam Christmas video. And the winner is Lori Kay. Congratulations, Lori. And let's now see how everyone can enter the giveaway for this video. If you remember from earlier, the giveaway in this video is going to be this red truck banner. And all you need to do to enter is to leave me a comment and let me know which DIY in this video was your favorite and also include hashtag banner. You have until Tuesday, November 17th to enter and the winner will be announced in the Thursday, November 19th video.
Well, I hope you have enjoyed episode 8 of my 12 Styles of Christmas series, Gingerbread Christmas. And I hope to check back to check out the cocoa bar that I'm going to decorate with all of these items. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give a thumbs up and please share with any family and friends you think would also enjoy this video. If you'd like to check out the other episodes in this series, you can click the playlist here or in the description. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.